Hello, this is a video solution to the uh, practice homework, and which is also the same as the first half of the first group work on the cube. So you were asked to investigate a particular process on the cube. When you're doing this, it does help, I think, to choose an orientation that you're going to stick to. So it might be helpful, helpful for you to indicate um, the color of the faces of the cube so that if uh, in the process of working with the cube if you set it down and you're not sure well yeah this is a good idea so let's do this procedure and see what happens so uh, blue is my front so here is an F red is my right so here is right F inverse which is counterclockwise and R inverse which is counterclockwise so here's my cube. Now what's happened to it? There's a, a whole bunch of pieces that have been affected. And if I just start up here and start listing them off, this is in the up layer. It's in the front face. It's on the left. So this is UFL. Uh, the next piece, this piece has been affected. This is in the up layer and the front layer. So up front. This piece is in the up layer, the right layer, and the front layer. So up, front, right. This piece is in the front and the right. Front, right. This corner piece down here is in the front layer, the right layer, and the down layer. So front, right, down. This piece is in the right and the down layer. Right, down. And then this uh, back corner here has been changed. That would be, it's in the right layer, the down layer, and the back layer. So right, uh, down, back. There are seven affected pieces. Well, that's the first part. Now, how, how are these pieces moving? Well, let's pick one. Maybe we'll start with this one, the up, front, left. This isn't the piece that used to be there. The piece that used to be there was yellow, orange, and blue. Where did that piece go? It went right here. So the piece that used to be in the up, front, left moved to the up, front, right. And it displaced the piece. Where is the piece that used to be here? Where is the piece that is yellow, red, and blue? Well, in this case, it turns out that it's uh, an up front left. So we're back to where we started. So these two corners are being swapped. These two pieces are swapped by this move. Let's choose another corner. Uh, maybe this one down here. This would be down, front, right. What was the piece that used to be here? Well, it used to be red, white, and blue. It's not anymore. Where did it go? Well, it went back here. It's in the back on the down and the right. So B, so back, down, right. The piece that used to be down front right was sent to the back down right. And it displaced the piece. Uh, there used to be a red, green, and white piece there. Where is it now? Oh, it's back to where we started. So, so far we have a pair of two cycles. Two, because there are two pieces involved. And a cycle, because that's what it is. These pieces are cycling back and forth. If I did this process again, and, and I will in a minute, um, they would swap. Okay, these are four of the seven pieces. There are three more. Let's go back. Um, here's one. This is UF. This used to be blue and yellow. Where is it now? It's right here. So the piece that used to be up front is now front right. Uh, it displaced the piece. What used to be here? Well, it used to be red and blue. Where is the red blue piece? Oh, here it is. It is on the down face and the right face, DR. All right, well, that displaced a piece. The piece that used to be here had white and red. Where is the white red piece? There it is. 
in the upfront. So here's a three cycle. Three because there are three pieces. A cycle because they're cycling amongst themselves. If I do this move again, this uh, process, these three pieces keep shifting. The up front goes to the front right, goes to the down right, the down right goes to the up front. So every time you do this, these three pieces will move in this fashion. Let's try it. Well, actually, not quite yet. So, so now that we have this stuff, let's use cycle notation. Cycle notation just doesn't bother with the arrows. The parentheses contain a cycle, and they contain uh, all the pieces that are being moved. So they're in the same order, there just aren't any arrows. So this is a two cycle, this is a two cycle, this is a three cycle, and all together, the cycle structure of F, R, F, I, R, I is that uh, we just write it, we just write it out. UFL, UFR, DFR, I'm going to run out of room here, BDR, UF, FR, DR. <clears throat> now this actually tells us quite a bit about the process. It tells me that every time I do this move, I'm swapping these corners and these corners. If I do this move again, the, piece, the corner pieces should have returned to their original location, and they have. They are not twisted correctly, but this is the orange, blue, yellow piece, and it's, it's home. This is the blue, red, yellow piece, and it's home. This is the red, white, and blue piece, it's home. And this is the green, uh, red, and white piece, and it's home. The corners have returned, they're just not twisted correctly. Now this move also has a three cycle, meaning every three times you do it, the edges should return to their original home, and, and there they are, blue and yellow, blue and red, red and white. If I do this a fourth time, the edges are out of sequence again, they have been moved, and the corners are home again. Blue, orange, yellow, red, blue, and yellow, red, white, and blue, red, green, white. That's four times. Five times nothing particular happens, the corners aren't there, and neither are the edges. If I do it six times, everything returns back. Every even number of times the corners are returned, every multiple of three returns the edges, and here they happen at just the same time. So that would mean that the order of F, R, F, I, R, I is six. So hopefully that helps.